What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. Did you miss me? I know you. I know y'all thought I was. I, I was supposed to be on this morning. Well, um, really, but not really, um, because I had to do, as y'all know, my family. Uh, we do uh, the McKenzie Pantry Foundation. We do food deliveries every single. Uh, Friday or Saturday to um, underserved communities and uh, the students of Yokewood Elementary and Moravia Elementary Schools. So I was out doing that this morning, and that actually ties right into what I um, somewhat uh, well it does tie into what I was talking about or what we've been what we'll be talking about today, um, which is uh, which is strategic partnerships. We're going to be talking about I'm going to talk a little bit about strategic partnerships, and I have. A special guest coming on, so hopefully I'll see him in a minute, <coughs> and he will be on with us uh, to talk about uh, his strategic partnerships, because it is important to have strategic partnerships, y'all. We talked about um, this week, we've been talking about, let me give it to you, 10 secrets. Shh, don't tell nobody, but tell everybody. <laughs> yeah, don't tell nobody, but tell everybody. The 10 Secrets to Create um, Brand Sustainability. Part of brand sustainability is strategic partnerships. So what strategic partnerships do you have uh, that you are creating or that you have created in order to be able to, uh, in order to be able to uh, create the sustainability that you're looking to be able to have so that your business, you, your, your business and your brand can be uh, here years to come, years later. I want you to be able to, I want you to think about that. It's Friday, y'all. Y'all know what we do. It is Finish Strong Friday, man. It's Finish Strong Friday and... I want you to be able to finish strong. So how we're going to be able to finish strong or what we're going to talk about today, being able to finish strong is we're going to talk about uh, what I want you to do to be able to finish strong. Let's see if I can get him on here. He is here, but I want to be able to, this thing is crazy. Okay. Let's see if we can get him. Crazy. Okay. Ah, right, there we go. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> What's up, big bro? What's going What's on? What's going on, my brother? My brother? My brother? Oh, that's good, man. <laughs> it's good. I, I love it, bro. I gotta say this. I love the bow ties, man. I oh, love, absolutely <laughs> love the bow ties. That is oh, what I'm you. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was just getting ready to start, man, because uh, I know your your time is limited, so I want us to be able to jump right in. But but what I what I um, I'm doing this this last week and this week I'm doing this series called the Ten Secrets to Create Brand Sustainability, right? Mm -hmm. And today, the the one of the the last secret because this is I did last week and this week the secret one of the secrets is well, the last secret is strategic partnerships and I know you have something going on um a week from tomorrow a week from tomorrow so right. a week in a day <laughs> from today yeah. uh, and and one of the other secrets was community engagement so these two secrets two of the secrets. You're gonna be you're dealing with directly. So I want you to one first introduce yourself to everybody that that might not know who this dude. If you don't know who this dude is, <laughs> something wrong with you. Okay. You, need, you need this is a brother that you need to absolutely know. I want you to start real quick. Just introduce yourself to everybody, and then we'll talk about the event coming up on uh, on May twenty on May twenty fifth, bro. Of course, you know I'm Dr. Eric Holmes. Everybody calls me Dr. E, as you all know. Um, you know, a certified life coach, certified mental health, behavior health coach, uh, a best international selling author, an essential employee of Johns Hopkins, a hey, July, 27 years, but um, a servant who said yes to God, uh, just an humble servant, um, entrepreneur, and um, just, you know, someone who loves God and uh, and definitely uh, the visionary CEO of the Power of the Pen, the Authors Expo. 
Absolutely, and that is actually what we are here to talk about, y'all. We are here to talk about the power of the pen, the the Authors Expo that is coming up uh, on Saturday, May 25th. So I'm going to let Eric introduce and talk a little bit about it, and then we'll have a conversation about what people, what the attendees can expect where they need to go in order to be able to uh, purchase their tickets to attend the event. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be phenomenal. It is going to absolutely be phenomenal. So if you are anywhere near the Baltimore area, this is where you need to be next Saturday afternoon. Absolutely. So, so Eric, tell us, I want you to start, tell us a little bit about it. And I want to, I want to ask you, how did you, where did you come up with the idea of doing this? Because you've been doing this for three years now, I think you've said. So what was the vision or what was the, 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 the thought that, that sparked the vision of the power of the pen? Uh, the power of the pen, uh, the author's expo, let's keep writing, uh, let's keep talking. Uh, one was birthed out of prayer, uh, birthed out of nine of us, you know, every Monday mm. praying for a friend of ours who needed a miracle that only God could do. And so one one of the sessions uh, after it finished, after we finished praying, you know, I was just sitting there, tears, sweat, soaked. Um, and I was sitting there, you know, crying out, believing God for the miracle. And so what happened was I was sitting there and just had my prayer show on. And God said, the power of the pen, the author's expo. And I stopped. And so. I literally just wrote it down. So anybody that's an author, anybody that's a writer, but even a preacher or business owner, always have a pen and pad or a student or if you go into class. But so I wrote that down. And then from there, I just begin to, you know, uh, get the instructions. And so um, so I begin to write stuff down and just begin to think about people um, who would be a part of this and just sitting there and. You know, so I just begin to work on it. And next thing you know, um, sent out to all of those that God gave me from even the the authors, um, the panel, and even down to even the venue, down to um, the vendors. And so here we are three years later. So the power of the pen is so near and dear because it was birthed out of prayer. It was birthed out of even following the vision that God birthed in me, but following the plan and instructions that God gave. And so now here we are three years later, and, it, and it's something because uh, we were yet praying and then um, the individual, somebody in their family needed a miracle and then what they needed, I found myself back sitting there praying. And so it is near and dear because of the purpose behind it is a far more greater purpose. Uh, the vision behind it and what got birthed. And so even when I said, what's I going to do it this year? God will affirm and confirm. And so it's a far more greater purpose behind it. it and then so because of what it was birthed out of and then everybody on the panel, it was birthed through prayer of those who God gave me, even to those uh, who are being honored, even those um, who are vendors. And so it was birthed through prayer. And so, you know, that's the whole thing of the power of the pen, the Authors Expo, but to know that we're coming together, culture and community coming together, helpers one to another coming together, you know, iron sharp as iron, we are brothers and sisters keeper, and that we are coming together to share knowledge, information, coming together uh, to share, uh, to be impactful and effective. And so uh, that is what it is definitely all about. Yeah, and, and you said you said something that, and you've said this um, in each and every time when you talk about the event, you say this, and I think it is so important, and I, I don't want people to to gloss over it, but you, you talk about culture and community, you know, mm -hmm. and culture and community connect with each other. Can you talk about the importance of that, about culture and community, and what happens when they collide, man, in events like this? It is so important, and actually, I'm going to tag some people in here, but it is so important because we're coming together to bring awareness. We're coming together to share information. Hey, Psalm Newby, all the way from the motherland. Thank you, bro. Um, mm -hmm. I co-authored a book with him with over 70 authors from across the country. Oh, awesome. Wow. Future leaders 
He is amazing. He has the most amazing smile that'll light up a room. But um, he's also part of ICNI Change Nations with Sir Clive Rivers, who's also a king over in Ghana. So thank you, bro. Please share this. I love you, man. I appreciate you. Brandon, share this. That's one of my DJs, DJ Cut Loose. Oh, um, yes, sir. Don't cut up on here, Brandon. We, you know, I'm on my business page with my big bro. <laughs> but so, but coming together, culture and community to bring awareness, to bring that information, to bring that knowledge, um, to come together, that we can come together, that we can bring from the, the younger, the middle, the older, that they can have dreams and have vision, have goals, and be the example for them and show them you know and to share information most of all knowledge and and just knowing that we can come together share this information share this knowledge but to even be transparent because one thing i love about this is that coming together not only do they see people that are authors and everybody has a story so if you are an author this is definitely for you an inspiring author you know if you want to be an author you stuck in your writing this is for you but however uh the thing is they have more that they're bringing like you you are a business owner you help entrepreneurs so not only are you an author but you're bringing that business side you're bringing that entrepreneur side helping people that may want to start their business or they're stuck in their business. But then you have real estate on here. You got corporate real estate. You got an uh, individual with finance on here. You ha have an individual on here with who is a therapist. Uh, and so nonprofits, you have a variety of, and, and a diversity. And that is also a, a bringing a diversity of information, a diversity of people coming together for one common cause. And that is to bring awareness. That is to be making an impact and being effective, you know. And so when we're coming together, culture and community, nobody's coming to save us but us. And so we're bringing that awareness to help them, to push them, whether you got a vision, a dream, your goal, or whether just say you're writing a book, uh, you want to release it, or you need, you got somebody on here, Reverend, that she's a, has a publishing company. So, you know, if you need a, a, a good publishing company, but she's going to help. She's been in business a long time. You want to talk about real estate. You want to talk about even some of those that have nonprofits that are helping women that don't have insurance. So you got a panel on here that is diverse in what they do, as well as their authors, writers, you are play writers, producers. So you have all of this on here. And so we're going to bring awareness. We're going to come together, culture and community. We're going to come together to help one another, to encourage one another, to inspire one another, to push one another, but to cause them even to challenge one another. Yeah, man. And, and that is so, so powerful that you talk about. And, and I love what you say because because me and and the busy the, the folks that are in my circle of impact, we say this all the time that nobody's coming to save us. We have everything, not just that we have that that nobody's coming to save us. We have everything that we need in order to be able to be successful as a community, as a whole, and, and as as we just do. It's all in us. And 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 this is the we can say that because of the event that you put together, this the power of the pen. You just named a number of industries, you just named a number of individuals, a number of businesses that are gonna be under one roof at one time and give you the ability to be able to talk to these people. Where where else are you gonna be able to do that? Where else can you do that? I promise you that, that, that this isn't just for aspiring authors. Like he said, you, you have other industries, you have other entrepreneurs that are represented here. And, and, and I'll have you talk a little bit about what the, what, what people can expect from the event and what, you know, the different uh, things that'll be going on at the event, but people got to understand these are the types of events that make our community strong. When you bring culture and community together, mm -hmm. you actually show, this sets the example. And you and I both know, because I believe we both grew up here in Baltimore, we know the, the, the negative tag that Baltimore has on it. But these are the events, these are the types of, of things that need to be talking, that need to be talked about. These are the types of things that galvanize us, that bring us together as a community, as a culture. 
to show how great we can be and how great we are. That they are, and I said, I say this everywhere that I go. Baltimore has some of the greatest people on this point. It is, it is by, it is my favorite city of all cities because I know the greatness that's in here. Part of that mm-hmm. greatness is going to be uh, on, 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 um, you know, on display on May 25th at the Power of the Pen. But if you ain't there you can't experience that greatness that's there. I don't want to hear anybody talk about, well, Baltimore ain't doing this or this ain't. No, it's being done. Question is, one, are you supporting it? Two, are you talking about it? Are you sharing about it? Letting others know, hey, this is going on. This is where y'all need, this is where you need to be on May 25th. So can you can you talk a little bit about what, what those that are going to be attending, what they can expect? At the attendance, because you talked about panels and you talked about so talk about kind of what people can expect if you can. One, they're going to get an experience, uh, one of excellence, uh, one of quality, uh, one they're coming in um, to experience a presence. They're coming to experience what the power of networking is. They're coming to experience what collaboration is and the importance of collaboration. They're coming in to experience when you, when I talk about divine connections and when I talk about coming together from the my media team doing the orange carpet radio interviews to help what you have for your brand and to share the information to come on here as, you know, I went to school for PR and marketing to be able to market what you have. And so it's an opportunity for you to be spotlighted and shared. But then we also have entertainment that uh, not entertainment because it's more of that is of a value and something invested, you know, but it's going to bless you for what we have. And, and not only that, the panel of discussion and the information. And so not only that, you're going to come and experience uh, something that's going to be effective for you to help you, to challenge you, to cause you to think, to go back and look at those visions, those dreams, those goals, to go back and take another look or to speak those affirmations as Dr. Cheryl Pelot Williamson says, you know, those affirmations, we co-author book uh, with her. She's phenomenal. Absolutely. I cannot wait to see her. Uh, so for affirmation, but what you speak, what you say is going to determine the outcome. And so when we were doing so for affirmation, it is absolutely phenomenal. She just released a new book, uh, Affirm, like she's phenomenal. This is why I'm such a phenomenal writer now because she was in my life and three books that I was have been blessed, divinely connected, these divine assignments to co-author with her was just amazing. Eight months at a time. So I'm I'm seasoned in this and ever learning and growing. So I can tell you when when I did my new release, right? Uh, but because I had a Dr. Cheryl Pelot Williamson that poured into me eight months at a time, and even she does now, with the knowledge, information, and in the pouring and the sharing. And so now I'm able to do, if I wanted to do an anthology, if I wanted, you know, when it came to doing my book and, and I'm able, even not only that, I had to edit somebody else's because I've been poured into with knowledge and wisdom. And so she's, she travels all over the country. Like, like literally I, she inspires me. Like she really holds a special place in my heart, in my life, but she showed even how to do stuff in excellence and, and executing it. And so you need people. So you're going to have people in there that can pull what's in you out of you, but show you and be the example. So the power of the pen, the author's expo, let's keep writing. Let's keep talking. There is power in the pen. You just got to write it. You, you have the power. But if you don't write it, like God said to me, you got to go through it to be able to write it, to be able to release it. And so if I never go through it, I'm not going to be able to write it, yet alone release it. And so we're coming to bring awareness. We're coming together. If you were there last year at 248 Create, it was like 120 people. It was absolutely amazing. And, And it showed here when we came together, supporting one another, helping one another, supporting our culture, our community, uh, my my friend Catherine Chad, their companies uh sponsored a group of all these youth. Then I bless 
uh, one of my little mentees with tickets to bring youth and middle older and people to come together so they could see uh, the transparency, the knowledge, uh, a group of nine African-American men on this panel in one place under one roof. And it was phenomenal from the vendors, but it showed the love, the support. Everybody supported everybody. Everybody helped. The presence was in there from the uh the, the the performers and and not a perfor but not performers because we come with a presence but anyway when my little sister sang when she opened up her vocals when my goddaughter did it just shifted and everybody was helping one another they celebrated they cheered even as we honored people and i cried just about the whole time because it was that seeing the manifestation of what god said so when god birthed something in you even sometimes when we seen that it doesn't you know i talk about my book the power of the seed when it seemed that the seed is not germinated through the underground process or it's not moving fast as we say timing and season of god is everything my bishop i went to hear him preach last night he, he prophetically declared everything will be all right and one of my favorite scriptures isaiah 3 and 10 say to the righteous it shall be well you shall eat the fruit of your doing but when he went to isaiah 41 as my first lady was reading that book but he said what are you expecting what are you anticipating you've got to be in expectation so what are you expecting i expect god to show up uh, dr show say i expect favor i expect presidential treatment but what we say out of our mouths you know, it's in the word, life and death. And so that's why I'm telling people, go over um, to Eventbrite. It's going to be an experience. This is about impact. This is about an inspiration. This is about encouragement. This is about knowledge, information, but most of all, bringing people together that you can dream, you can have vision, you can have goals. And so we're going to push you. We're going to inspire you. We're going to encourage you, but we also going to challenge you. Because you got to be challenged because if you do nothing with the information that you have, all it means is that you got it and you do nothing with it. It means absolutely nothing. Yeah, and, and if you, you, you've got to come with an expectation to gain something from this. If you don't come away from this event getting something out of it, it's your own fault. Because, and it, can you give just a couple of names? I, you know, they get, I wish you had that. I wish you had that that great banner that you had, which you missed. So you could show the the, the these folks that are gonna be with you know that are gonna be at this event, that are gonna be on the panel, that are gonna be speaking, and that are gonna be that are gonna be receiving awards and, and stuff too. Just give a couple of people of the lineup of, of that of who's gonna be there uh, at the event if you can. Of course, we have my big brother, Dr. Leroy McKenzie, also such a business owner, entrepreneur who helps business owners. But then we got from my, my co-host, the MC, Dr. Renee Starling Allen, amazing with what she brings. I mean, she's just an absolutely amazing vessel. Uh, not only that, you have, of course, uh, my two DJs, they ready. DJ Cut Loose, DJ T Money, they ready. They were last year, they did absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Um, they got all this new equipment, all new mics, they ready, right? But not only that, you got uh, my little brother, Josh Proby, he deals with uh, youth and nonprofits and dealing with injustice, injustice in North Carolina, but he was just honored in LA. But then you have uh, my little brother, Wesley uh, Hawkins, who deals with a lot of community, his nonprofit, which was honored in honor and named after his mother. Uh, guess what? He goes into community, he goes into schools. He's a great example for the city of Baltimore. You know, one who was in trouble, yet you see the transparency, you see the transition and the transformation. But then you got my little brother, uh, Minister James Hounds, who his testimony, who's releasing another book. But guess what? This young man, he's a miracle. He was hit by a truck, then hit by two cars. But I'm telling you, he's here to tell a story. So then you got Mr. Derek Darrell Dixon. Thank you, Mr. D. Uh, for he also is one of the hosts on our radio team too, but he was also one of the administrators for where the venue is. Shout out to him and, and uh, Bishop E. McDonald, a phenomenal playwright, a phenomenal author, and in fashion, and when he does the uh, fashion for autism for 
but one of his sons. So a uh, phenomenal play writer. And then not only that, you got Dr. Carleen Randolph who deals with governmental contracts, but not only that, she's a realtor and she helps women in business to help them. But then you got Dr. Katrina Littleshaw. Uh, wow, not only she's one of the bless uh, blessings and reason why I was on the cover for Grace and Glory, but not only that, on Grace and Glory TV. So she does media, she does TV, but okay. one of her nonprofits that she has, it helps women to get mammograms that do not have insurance. Do you know how important that is? I worked in healthcare 27 years, and it is important for people to get early detection is the best, but it's it's important that they be able to go and get exams and have and for those that don't have insurance. So then you got not only that, you have my phenomenal aunt, Dr. Pamela Reeves, uh, not only she a professor, not only she classy, beautiful, but not only that, she mm -hmm. uh, her own skincare line, but a phenomenal author, but she does corporate real estate. So if you need corporate real estate, so see, you got a whole variety. You got Reverend Allison Daniel, her, she has a phenomenal phenomenal book publishing company. She's been in business a long time, but not only that, she knows uh, stuff in the business and entrepreneur. And so you have, you got my brother, uh, Rashad Bowtie Mills, a phenomenal licensed therapist, but uh, even sharing in our youth, in our community, in our culture to bring awareness to help them. You know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, but he's doing such a phenomenal job. And so you have a panel of a dynamic people with a diversity of background that's coming to the table and so it is such a blessing uh, to be able to come together and because of the passion that it is and because what this was birthed out of not from me but out of somebody needing a miracle and so here's the thing even from the honorees uh, I'm so excited to be able to honor those that we got to just honor people now you know Dr. Cheryl Pelot Williams an icon of war I watched her she's been such an impact in my life like I'm telling you all these years of doing books and being authors and just uh, man just so much uh, knowledge information the icon of what I've watched her she travels all over uh, she just uh, oh wow doing her photo shoot for her spring magazine if y'all want a phenomenal magazine the Cheryl magazine like I was watching like in amazement like wow she was just honored at mahogany and just so many different other things um, so you got a uh, Dr. Cheryl Smith education award you got Oh uh, man, Troy Edwards Icon and Music Award. You like I do you know I have really looked over all of this stuff because it's in me and it's a passion. And so not Dr. Sherwood for uh leadership. You got uh overseer Nia Washington for leadership. You got Dr. Shavana Whitehead for entrepreneur. You have um Morgan Turner, a music award, like you have so many people on here uh, that are being honored, Bishop Danny Evans Community Award. And so to be able to honor people now is such a blessing. Wendy Park, Pastor Wendy Parker for the uh, Servant Leadership Award, Bishop Dwayne Johnson Icon, I mean, for radio and music and uh, award of uh, uh, just a legend when it came to radio, when it came to just being a servant leader and so uh, it is so exciting to be able to honor these 17 people like I had these things custom done so when they came in from New York but it is absolutely a blessing to be able to honor people to celebrate people now why they're here in the words of my late godmother pastor Sandy Johnson she says son what's left unsaid is still unsaid they can't hear it and so when we're coming, Mother Mary Barnes, a uh, prayer warrior award, Pastor Shelley Carter Burton, prayer warrior award, uh, Alicia Snead, worship award, like we come to honor people and to celebrate people. And sometimes we don't celebrate people or we don't honor people. And all of these were birthed through prayer that God gives me last year. He gave me different people, you know. Uh, the year before and so we're coming together to also fellowship we're coming together to honor people we're coming together to say thank you for the work you do thank you for what you make in the world in community in our culture and in our lives and so we're coming to celebrate them past the tammy braswell mentorship award and so we're coming together, y'all. Culture and you already know Dr. Lee with my big brother, you know, uh culture and community coming together. Iron sharpens iron. We are our brothers and sisters keeper. We're helpers one to another. You will not go nowhere in this life. You're going to need somebody.
And so this whole passion and the work and the, the all that I've been investing, all the late nights early, like it's because one, I'm following the plan and instruction God gave. Because I tell people, no matter what happens in the middle of the process, if you follow the plan and instruction, it will always end in victory. When you follow the plan and instruction God gave. And as my godmother, the late pastor Sandy would always say, your provision is sealed. He's going to give provision for the vision. But when you follow the plan and instruction, everything, like my bishop said, will be off. Lord, I remember we had church and he, he just just shifted and just wrecked the whole house down it like my bishop got more energy like and so i honored them last year my first lady and so many others and so this year when god gives you something that's why i said go to event right let's listen get your tickets i have tickets this is not about a money making thing this is about empowerment this is about encouragement inspiration this is about bringing awareness this is about impartation as my first book the power of the, it's about seeding and sowing into the life that will produce do some harvest later on. Mm, mm, mm. Now y'all see this this energy that you're feeling. Can you imagine this being in the room on, on May 25th, y'all? That that energy manifesting itself in the in the room on May 25th. This is what's going to happen. It's already it's already happened. You just gotta be there. There for in, in order to be able to have it fulfilled in your life, man. Real quick, what do you want? What do you want the attendees to come away with? If there were a couple things, two, three things that you want them to come away with, what do you want them to come away with from this event? Having that they can take away from. One of the things is with the takeaway is oh man, and plus I gotta, I definitely got some dope photographers coming, and uh, mm. definitely one of my big bros <laughs> that's gonna be there is definitely. You know, because he travels all over. But the, the takeaways is that you would come better than you came. You would leave better. You would leave with information and knowledge, but not just that to apply it and use the necessary tools that will be given. It's nothing like going to a job or and you don't have the tools. The carpenter can't go to the job and not have all the tools. He can't leave the toolbox. He can't leave the hammer, the nails, and all of that. No, but you got to have the necessary tools that we're going to give you to apply, but come out with knowledge, information, and to go back and dream again, to look at those visions and say, you know what? I won't let the vision or dream die. I'm not going to allow others to cause them to die. I'm not even going to allow myself because I've been equipped. I've gotten knowledge. I got information, but also that you've connected with somebody else. You've networked with somebody else and in coming into the collaboration, but also to share what you have, but to be empowered, challenged, and inspired that you just, you didn't just come to an event. You came to an experience. <laughs> I love that. It, it It's not just an event, y'all. It is an experience. So I want you to come out and experience the power of the pen. I want you to tell them um, uh, when, with the tell, the, the tell um, when the event is, where they can go get the tickets uh, from, and then the location of the event and everything. All right, let, let me shift here because I'm going to shift into the radio, y'all. Y'all know I got my show tonight. <laughs> Days one and four point four, y'all. Where praise is always in order. So eight p.m. tonight, because we're gonna do a ticket giveaway and a book giveaway. But anyway, May twenty fifth, y'all. Next Saturday, listen, eight days. We have eight days. Eight. The number new beginning, right? Guess what? May twenty fifth, next Saturday, May twenty fifth, three p.m. to seven at the Palladium, twenty nine hundred Liberty Heights Avenue, right there on the corner. It's free parking. You don't have to worry about it, y'all. The Power of the Pen, the Authors Expo. Let's keep writing. Let's keep talking from two different perspectives. It is happening next Saturday, y'all. May twenty fifth, three p.m. to seven. You don't have to. It's plenty of space in the Palladium, and if you've been there, you already know Bishop Wortham. He operates in excellent. It is nice and beautiful in there. But guess. Guess what? It's, it's right there. You don't have to worry about parking. We have bonded security. Guess what? From a bonded coming, like every basis is covered. So we want you to come next Saturday, May 25th, 3 p.m. to 7 at the Palladium, 2900 Liberty Heights Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21215. You can get there on the bus line. It is a train station. It, you, it is in a location that you can get to. You can't say you can't get to it, whether you're catching the Uber, whether you're catching the bus or the train. 
It is a location. It sits right there on all this land right there and it is absolutely you cannot miss it so guess what y'all and when you come in i'm already been praying but i'll get there even on this weekend to walk through it to set the atmosphere with prayer because we start nothing without prayer but you're coming to an experience the power of the pen the author's expo and to all the panelists thank you for locking into the vision that god gave to all the vendors thank you for securing and not only that to all those who already got your tickets, thank you so very much. And uh, we look forward to you coming to the power of the pen. When I tell you, this is going to be an experience. This is something of quality. This is something of a vision that got birthed. But when you leave here, I tell you, you're going to leave better. And for those, I have people that are coming in, you know, that's going to impart to you some wisdom, some truth, some, some knowledge. You know, and I'm excited. You know, when I always talk about Dr. Shoko Lovis, and when I say she has made an impact, she holds a special place in my heart, my life. But when it comes to writing, or when it just comes to doing things and excellent, and you know, you have people that God divinely connects you to. And so, like the power of the seed, they are root that they grow. It expands. So just like this, you may have a tree. You got a root, a branch, a leaf. You got a root that will is not going anywhere. You got a leaf that will wither. You got a branch that'll leave you hanging. You got to determine what you have in your life, people, places, and things. So again, you're going to come experience something that will be a root that will expand. So the power of the pen, the author's expo, it'll keep growing. It'll keep expanding. And so it is a movement, but it is a vision that was birthed. So next Saturday, on May 25th, 3 p.m. to 7 at the Palladium, 2900 Liberty Heights Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21215 is the power of the pen. Let's keep writing. Let's keep talking. There's power in the pen, y'all. You just got to put the pen and start writing. So, all right. Definitely go to Eventbrite. Hey, what's up? My buddy, a big gondoli all the way from Kokauta, India. Thank you so very much. And so thank you for your love, your support, your prayers. But definitely we need you there. Don't miss. Sometimes we miss out on things that will be of value and this is of value this is of substance this is of power because it is because it was birthed through obeying god this this vision was birthed and so not only that the greater purpose is that i watch and watching god perform the miracle that my friend my sister need and show and that we want you there, y'all. And so definitely don't not come and bring somebody with you. Bless somebody else. This is how you get blessed. We're blessed to be a blessing. As Hezekiah said, I need you and you need me. I need you to survive. But the words of it says, I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. So we're coming to help one another to survive. We're coming to help build businesses. We're coming to with information, knowledge, and sharing. And to make you, us, to be better and helpers one to another. Absolutely. If, and, and I know for those of us that are from Baltimore, don't act like y'all don't know where the Palladium is. I know y'all know where it is. It's been there. <laughs> it's, been, it's been there since before we were in. So we know y'all need to party back up in the day, back in there. So come party with us with the power of the pen. This is this is a party with a purpose, as um as Tom Jr. used to always say. It's a party with a purpose to it. So we want you in the room. We want you to be able to come. Go, you can go to the event right. We'll put the make sure that the that the event right is right in the comments section. So you ain't gotta do nothing. But click the button. It, it's gonna be two simple clicks. Click the button to go to the event right. Click the button to say to make your payment to be able to register to pay for the event to be able to go to the event. And it's 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 not. I mean, this is a what I call it, be in the room event. This is not something that you want to hear somebody talk about. Say, oh, mm -hmm. you know, did you hear about that that um that experience that that uh, Dr. E did? You want to be like, no, I, I I didn't I didn't hear about it. I was there. And this is what I can say about it. And I, I promise you, I'm put, I'm putting, I'm putting everything on it. I promise you, you will come away from this event with insight, wisdom, and ideas that you did not have before you came to this event. Like he said, like Dr. E said, you will be better after this event than you were before. And anybody that's listened to me in any 
way, shape, or form, y'all know, I always say my purpose, my goal, my assignment is to make you better by the end of the year than you were at the beginning of the year. And one of the ways that I do that is, is by partnering and connecting with, with great, great people like Dr. E that is putting on phenomenal events like this that are about culture and community that are connecting all of us together where we can come and we can share information, where we can make people better. Each and every person that is going to be a part of this event, I promise you, they they will make you better by listening to them. I, I know Dr. E doesn't just have anybody at his events. So he's bringing, he's bringing the heavy hitters. He's bringing people that he knows that, are, that their intent is to make people better, make the culture better, and make the community better. Dr. E, I'm going to give you the last words, and then we're going to get out of here, man. It's up to well, stay again, here. thank you, my big bro, Dr. Leroy McKenzie. Thank you also for the interview and inviting me on the Black National Unity News, um, even me connecting with uh, people that are going to come from there. Thank you so very much for that. It is a phenomenal uh, newsletter, newspaper, uh, when we talk about culture and community, when we talk about bringing awareness. Thank you. Uh, I was so blessed to be on there and meet the visionary of that. Um, so again, thank you so much, even for being part of the panel and um, all that you do for the city of Baltimore, business owners, entrepreneurs, and you and my sister Catherine, how y'all are always hosting things and bringing awareness, giving people opportunity, giving people chances, but giving them knowledge and the necessary tools. So again, thank you so much. And to all of you, I just want to say, just be in the room. Sometimes you got to just show up and be in the room. And, 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 and what happens is you don't know who's in the room. You don't know who's sitting next to you. You don't know who you might meet, but you've got to be there. But this is something of value. This is something of substance, not just because they're authors or, you know, but what they bring, the diversity, the backgrounds, the knowledge, uh, even what they do professionally. Um, and so it's going to help you. So definitely I look forward to seeing you. You'll hear all of these lives um, all the way up until then. I do PR marketing. I went to school and I said that I'm going to definitely use all these skills uh, that I went to school for. And so, you know, um, it is a value. But again, I do have tickets, but you can go to Eventbrite or I do have tickets. And so, again, thank you in advance. I love, value, and appreciate you. Or as Dr. Shaw would say, you are love, value, and appreciated. Love, value, and appreciate people. But come out and let's support one another. Don't wait to see where people going. Because I can already tell you. I tell people all the time, don't wait till you see me on the cover of Forbes. On Oprah, Steve, I, I, I'm telling you, New York Times, it's, it's coming. But we wait. But be when people have something of substance, of value to bring to help you, let's be a part. All right, let's be in the room. And again, you can contact me. And again, thank you, my big brother, Dr. Leroy. Um, again, looking forward to you sharing your knowledge, your information. And again, thank you, everybody who's tuned in. Uh, yeah, and then tune in tonight, y'all. You already know the power of influence with Dr. E on Praise 104.4 Gospel, where praise is always in order. This We're kicking off the second. My show kicked off. Uh, this is the second station to Power 4.4. And so guess what? This is the second week I'm kicking off my show on there and um, definitely having an amazing guest that's going to be there, Elder Shaniqua Lawrence. I'm telling you, when it comes to healthcare, when it comes to uh, the, the knowledge of finance, when it comes to ministry and all of that. And so you are going to be so blessed. Uh, so definitely tune in tonight. You can download the app Live 365, but we will be live, IG, Facebook, YouTube. So definitely tune in tonight, 8 p.m., The Power of Influence with Dr. E on Praise 104.4 Gospel, where praise is always in order. And we're doing a ticket giveaway and a book giveaway. So we're going to give away my, my little sister, Monet, who had her new book. Uh, that's going to absolutely bless you. We gave a, a giveaway on last week. It's about blessing others, being a blessing. And sometimes, let me leave you with this. Sometimes you got to bless somebody that can't bless you back. You got to bless somebody that you're not looking to bless you back. Because when you do that, God will turn around and bless you. Because when you've done it to the least of them, you've done it unto him. And so out of all of this, I want you to know the Savior. Now, don't leave without knowing the Savior. Because that is the most important thing. And definitely you don't want to leave this earth without knowing the Savior. Absolutely. Now, how can they contact you, connect you, if they want to get the tickets directly from you? How you want them to contact um, you? Um, you can.
And, and you can also put my email in there. I'll put my email okay. in there. Or you can go, um, all, it, all the information is on the flyer. So you go on all of my pages, that information, the flyer with the email, the number, it is all on there. You can inbox me. You can message me. You can text me if you have my number. You got my email. You All of those, you can reach out and you will definitely get a ticket. I will meet you, bring them, or just you can pay Zelle Cash App, PayPal, and then your name will go on the list. I have a list already created. So either way, you'll make sure you have a ticket. So uh, you got all uh, ways, all options. You know, you have so many different ways. And so, yeah, it's accessible. <laughs> so most definitely. And um, all the information, of course, is on all of those wonderful graphics. So let me shout out my uh, my graphic design, Pastor Tulane Harris from out of the ATL, Beyond Excellent Graphic, my little sister, Mode Horton, who created those wonderful program yeah. booklets. Listen, y'all, this investment, this stuff was not cheap. I'm here to tell you. And so you getting quality and excellence. And so, uh, and to my team over at Staples East Point, uh, Brittany and her team who did the poster banner, the poster boards, and wow, I cannot wait to roll out the orange carpet. It absolutely looks amazing, y'all. So when you get on these orange carpet radio interviews, you got to talk. You got to speak. Say your brand, what it is. You are your brand. And, 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 and y'all heard know. him right. You are. Y'all heard him right. He, he said the orange carpet, y'all. He didn't say the red carpet. He didn't say the red carpet. He said the orange coffee, y'all. So this is going to be unlike anything yeah. that you've ever experienced before. So it's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. I told y'all I had a special edition of the brand new uh, suite here. I'm, I'm in the suite, but I had to bring my brother in and, and the brother to talk about this event because it is something that, that I believe is going to be absolutely phenomenal. I know it is going to. We want to. We want to to fill the, the, the podium up to capacity. We want everybody, Lottie Dottie and everybody as I said back in the day, to come to this event, support this event, support the culture, support the community. We are gonna be there. And he's gonna be, to check out his, I want you to go to his Facebook page as well, cause he's gonna be talking about this and I'm gonna be posting stuff too. But he goes live several times a day talking about this so you will have every opportunity to be able to hear about him talking about this and be able to share the information to let somebody to let somebody know uh, about this event but on may 25th the power of the pen the authors expo dr e and and a phenomenal number of people are going to be there we want you to be there from three to seven get your tickets now you can go to eventbrite or co connect with him as well but we look to be able to see you on the 25th it's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. Appreciate you, bro, coming on. Thank All you right. so much, I man. I appreciate you, big bro. Thank you so All very right. much, man. Tune in tonight, y'all, 8 p.m. to the radio show. Peace and blessings. Later. <laughs>